Right lads, so British Grand Prix ended, it ended about half an hour ago, I'm a little bit late to get to recording this. But holy fuck. I have no word to lie, my nerves in that race, fucking shots. Okay, I cannot say I... Okay, Leclerc starting fourth, for starters, Leclerc led almost every lap, Hamilton won. I'll get to the opening lap in a minute, though the main thing that happened on the opening lap. But I had a feeling that Leclerc would get bought ass off the line. Because, I mean, he started fourth like three times previous this season, and he's already he's always got up to third on the first lap. And three of those times, it was Bottas in third. Um, but, oh my god, he almost won, ended up finishing second, we'll come back to that. But the opening lap, Hamilton and Verstappen, there was going to be a collision between them at some point. It finally happened, and the result was horrendous for Verstappen. He was out on the first lap with a... I think that it was like a 51G impact into the tire barrier at Cops. Holy fuck. He seemed quite a bit winded, like getting out of the car. And he has, um, I've heard on Twitter, he has gone to a near, uh, to, gone to the hospital for checks and that, but he should be okay for hungry. Hopefully he is. Um, but Jesus Christ. I mean, Hamilton said he's won the Verstappen DNF way from the championship fight. He got the Verstappen DNF, he won the race, it's an 8 point gap in the championship, the title fight is back on! Oh my god, the, the fight was good, the, the collision was gonna happen at some point, and Neville was going to absolutely love this race! We were saying after him, oh Neville was gonna love that collision between Bottas and Russell, but then the championship rivals collide, and Netflix is like, cha-ching, jackpot! Oh my god. Seriously, no word of a lie, I, saw, I just saw Drive to Survive trending on Twitter. For that very reason, I was like, you know what, Netflix are gonna absolutely love this. Oh my god, as I said, my nerves were shot through half of that race. Because of, like, look where leading for so long. He had engine problems. It's like, no, the engine, the engine cut out. He's like, oh, go to this mode. And then it seemed like it was just a software thing. It's like, no, please, don't let it, don't let it be a Bahrain 2019. And it wasn't a Bahrain 2019. It was kind of like an Austria 2019, in, in a way. He led for so long, he led every single lap until the third last lap. But then Hamilton got by him, and Leclerc did go off the track a bit at Cops when Hamilton got by. But like how Vers when Verstappen came knocking lap 69 in Austria a couple years back, same thing happened. I mean, he, was, he sounded a bit disappointed with second place, which it just shows how far Ferrari have come. In, you know, since they're all the problems they've had last year and even this year with Paul Ricard. Because Paul Ricard was a front limited circuit, they said, it's when front tires grained much more and they really suffered with it. They were both at the points, but Silverstone is also a front limited circuit, they say, and Ferrari had fantastic pace. Their pace was really, really strong, and I was hoping that at least a podium would be, would be possible um, for Charles today. And it was. I was, for most of the race, I was like, come on, just hang on to the lead, hang on to the lead, but then Hamilton came knocking. Even with getting a 10 second penalty for the Verstappen collision, he had ten, a 10 second additional stop time at his pit stop, and he still won by, what, how, what was his mar win margin? I have pulled up. 3.8 seconds is how much he won by. To Leclerc in second and Bottas in third. He seems to be struggling a bit with tyres or something like that? I don't, I don't know. Um, but, my god. And yeah, and this nightmare race for for Red Bull. No points. Um, what is the championship standings at the moment? I am genuinely curious. Uh, standings. Um, as of here, no, that's the race result. Um, what's the standings? What's the standings? How do you drive the F1 website? Um. No, that's the race results. I want the driver- yeah, the driver's standings. Uh, yeah, Verstappen still leads, as we knew he would, no matter what happened at Silverstone. He's leading by eight points or so, um, to Hamilton. Norris has popped back up to P3. He's just kind of just hanging out there in the top three. Like, yeah, it's all, it's all cool. It's all cool. Um, and then the constructors is the interesting one. Red Bull still lead the constructors, but only by four points there. Mercedes have closed up. And as of Ferrari to McLaren, what's the... What does that gap work out to? 163 minus 148. 15 point gap now. Okay, I had to calculate that for a second. It was like 21 points or something like that before. Or 19. It was 19. It was 19. Now it's 15. They're closing in there. They're, they're closing in and it had 
Leclerc hold, held on to fourth and won the race, it would have been uh, eight point. Yeah, it would have been eight points. I had quick mental math there. Idiot of the day, I'm a little bit, I'm struggling with that one. I mean, I would be tempted to say the small issues that came with, like, the sort of, like, small issues that came with Leclerc's engine. Actually, no, the Ferrari pit crew. The Ferrari pit crew get the vote for idiot of the day because of a slow stop for science. There we go. I got there in the end. And on that same level, the, the McLaren pit crew as well. They had a slow stop with Norris. I uh, kind of cost him the chance at finishing third. Ultimately, science's issue at the pit stops maybe cost him the chance of finishing in the top five. But I mean, he had a great race from starting P10. Again, he seems to make a good comeback from starting like P10, P11, P12, P13, round about there. This is like the fourth race in a row. No, the third race in a row. He started in like 10, 11, 12, that kind of region. And he's finished in the top six. But I mean, Ferrari, I did not expect them to be this strong this weekend. And then they were. They were this strong. I mean, of course, Vettel actually spun for once. I haven't seen him spin in a race since last season. So it's good to see that some things never really change. Um, but he did in the end retire from the race. Um, so yeah, what else happened in the race? Gasly got a puncture for some reason. I have absolutely no idea why he got a puncture. I never shoe anything of him getting a puncture. But uh, yeah, my god, that was one hell of a race. I can't say I expect the red flag into the barrier. Yeah, crazy race. I can't say I expected it to be this crazy, to be honest. And full house as well. Um, I'm looking forward to the Silverstone variant of COVID propping out, probably. To be honest, if it, it- okay, if it doesn't, I'll be surprised. But if it does, I'll also be surprised. Uh, because England specifically aren't exactly very good when it comes to cases at the moment. Not to go there, but just wanted to mention it. Because it was a full house. It was great to see, though. It was great to see a full house at a race again, finally, for the second race in a row. Full house, it's fantastic to see. And Silverstone said, like, if they couldn't have the Grand Prix, they would have gone bust. So, and they had it, they had it full house. Um, and the sprint race as well, I kind of addressed this in my video this morning speaking about it, but to be honest, I was pleasantly surprised by it. The, the format worked well, it might need a little bit of tweaking. Um, but at the end of the day, it worked rather well. Like maybe make, so like people could choose whatever set of tires they wanted for the sprint race. Most went for mediums, some gambled on softs, Alonso it paid off for him, him in spades. I swear, he, as I said, he made his car like six meters wide and parked the entirety of Spain on every apex he vessel behind him, I swear. Um, but yeah, it worked rather well. Maybe like in the future they'll make everyone like start on the same tire. Like, have okay, like everyone has to use the soft tire or the medium. Like, they have to use the exact same tire, then there can be no advantages from starting on a quicker tire. Or, or I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's just an idea, you know? I don't know, it could... It has potential. It has potential, definitely. I didn't expect it to work as well. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. Um, but it was quite good, and it was quite exciting. Um, well, uh, okay. At times it was a little bit like a procession, but there, there was moments. There was moments of excitement. I um, mean, yes, I'm looking at my Twitter feed right now and just want to mention it. At one point in the race, it was a Ferrari 1-2. I just want to throw that out there. It was a Ferrari 1-2 at one point in the race, and that is something that is incredible to see. It's amazing how much they've turned it around, though. They have really turned it around and improved, and hopefully they have a good car next year and can challenge for the title. Because fucking hell, it has been a while. Um, and I gotta say, it was quite entertaining hearing the FIA team radio of Red Bull and Mercedes going back and forth. Like, no, 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 it, like, we're in the clear. It was, it, this was just a racing incident for Mercedes and Red Bull. Like, no, 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 Hamilton needs a penalty. Come on, Michael. It's like, Jesus Christ, leave the poor man alone. I, he was just, I tweeted a freaking fantastic gif. I tweeted a fantastic gif. I might try and put it on the screen now if I remember to. If I don't, then it's over on my Twitter. It was just like Michael Massey just stuck in the middle of Red Bull and Mercedes just bickering back and forth. I sometimes I feel sorry for what Michael Massey has to put up with from these teams on the radio some weekends. Because as I've said, as I've said before, I think 25% of Formula One is the driving and the racing and everything that goes into that. Um the other another 37.5% is memes. And jokes and all of that because God knows the memes and the jokes the last few years have skyrocketed. And then the remaining 37.5% is full of sandbagging 
and bitching to the FIA about your rivals. Let's just all agree on that right now. Um, but that was the British Grand Prix, my thoughts on it. Fantastic race, honestly. The British Grand Prix always delivers. Um, the 2019 British Grand Prix still remains one of my favorite races to rewatch. And honestly, Ferrari and Red Bull, specifically Leclerc and Verstappen, hand in Mercedes the one to that race on a silver fucking platter. Uh, but this time, Leclerc just kind of, on, on, at the incident on the first lap, Hamilton kind of went a bit off the track, got a bit slowed down with hitting Verstappen and sending Verstappen off. And Leclerc just kind of slipped by like, ah, cheers, mate. He was in prime position. And also, I think he got like, out of like the top, like four or five, I think Leclerc got the quickest start. I think. Like, it came up on the screen, like, showing a replay of the start and, like, a reaction, like, time from going from zero to 200. Leclerc's was the quickest between himself, um, I think it was between himself, the two Mercedes, and Verstappen. He was the quickest with 4.6. And then I think Verstappen was 4.7. Then there was the Mercs on, like, 4.8, 4.9. I know Bottas was 4.9, I think. Um, but yeah, honestly, Ferrari looks very, very good this race. Um, and thankfully Max should be okay, Verstappen hopefully, um, not too badly injured if he is, he seemed, well, he kind of, he seemed okay, just a bit, you know, shaken and going to the hospital for checks for, you know, just preliminary checks to make sure he is a-okay, but that was a massive shunt he had into the wall, a very fast part of the track, Cops is nearly flat out. I would kind of flat out, nearly flat out, I don't know, I can never gain flat out through Cops on the game without running wide. I can sometimes get it flat, but it is very, very rare I can do it. Um, but, hungry in two weeks' time, it's going to be good. Um, yes. Anyway, for now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, share, comment, subscribe for more of me chatting about Formula 1, playing Formula 1 games. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.